Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Testing, 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 testing. That's the Spanish we're doing. Wesley Kitty. <laughs> Look how big he's gotten. Wesley, I'm happy mommy's mic came in. He got his surgery done. Look at the little microphone. It's a lot, a lot uh, smaller than he remembered. He always would bop the other one. Hey y'all, it's been quite a while and, well I say quite a while, it's maybe been like a couple weeks. I just wanted to give y'all an update on the notebook that I received from Jen. Let me, it's like underneath all of this. <laughs> Lots been going on, I got sick. Um, I've had a lot going on with the school year kicking off for my boys. Some of y'all may not know, I've been homeschooling my boys since they were in kindergarten and first grade. So it's been 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really busy trying to figure out curriculum and in this video I'll show you something exciting that I'm planning on doing uh, for a homeschool planner. I was gonna keep it in my bullet journal but I just felt like there's just too much with the different subjects and things that I need to keep track of for homeschool. It just was gonna, like this would have filled up super fast and I don't want this to fill up super fast. I just want to separate the homeschool stuff from the majority of what I'm doing in here. Ooh, it's kind of bright. What's up with that? This is the notebook that Jen gave me to use to see if it would patina. I don't feel like it's gotten a ton darker. I feel like it has gotten a ton dirtier. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm a super dirty person. Oh, my mom's calling me again. Cool. Well, we'll let it be a surprise for the boys. So I'm not gonna say anything. They'll just probably wake up to you there because they sleep in super late. <laughs> My mom is coming to visit. Surprise! <laughs> anyway, I can't even remember what I was talking about. So this is the notebook that she gave me. I'll show you a close up of it. It's just a really short video today. And then when I get this stuff, everything in to combine my journal slash memorabilia slash Rolodex type whatever. And I'll show you, I, I talk about it more like I actually filmed the tabletop already for this video. I'll be able to do that video later. I have other videos that I've filmed. I just need to edit them. September is the craziest month for our ministry. I do a lot of prayer sets, worship leading. Um, I'm worship leading in Austin a couple times this month. I went last Tuesday and did it. Um, this next couple Tuesdays I'm going. I lead in Gonzales, Texas. And so um, that's apart from our regular scheduled stuff. I'm also in a wedding this month and I have a workshop vocal workshop that I'm doing for our ministry. In addition to kicking off the homeschool year, I'm way more invested this year than I have ever been in the last three years of my homeschool. I'd say two and a half years. The last two years have been digital, like all through online stuff. I haven't really had to do much of anything at all. Sorry for the background noise. My husband's making a smoothie. <laughs> and this year I'm just way, I just, I felt really like I was supposed to be more involved in the curriculum, uh, choosing specific curriculums for them. And I mean, that's all homeschool stuff related. And people have asked me to do homeschool videos, but I just never felt like I was, oh my gosh, his smoothie machine is quick. Can y'all hear that? It's like a jet engine. We have a Vitamix that my mother-in-law purchased for us like a long time ago. I'm gonna try to interject this before he starts again. I just never thought I was an experienced enough homeschool person, but I think I've been doing it for 10 years. <laughs> so that gives me some experience, right? So if anyone's interested in that, especially with so many people having to educate their children from home. I know there's a lot of support from teachers online and y'all may be doing some online curriculum, but um, yeah, I'm willing to share that with y'all if you want, in addition to the planner stuff, the journal stuff. But anyway, um, my watch is telling me to breathe. I also got some really cool stencils from Wendy Brightville that I want to play around with. Uh, she sent them to me to play around, so maybe I can do something with that. And yeah, I feel like, I think that's it. I need to just go to the tabletop now, show you the notebook, close up, and then show you something fun that I've been doing in my Naname Cafe notes. I've kind of spliced it up. Thanks to my friend Terry, and yeah, I love y'all bunches. Tabletop. Here is the cover. I'm gonna turn it down just in case. Um, but I don't 
feel that it's gotten much darker. This is the original color. I grabbed it. I mean, it's gotten a little darker. Remember this, this was very much similar to the thing. It just kind of looks dirty, really. It just looks like it's gotten dirty. There's the inside. So I guess it has kind of patina it a bit. I will admit that I have put this out in the sun just to cook it in the Texas sun and not much has happened to it. I'm sending this back to Jen so that she can compare it to a fresh piece of leather. And that way you'll really can see a side-by-side -side difference. Cool thing, I visited my sweet friend Terry and she has a channel called Peacocks and Paper and I just love her. She's got a farm down south from where I live and I love going to visit her and she inspired me all. You know how minimal I was with my planner, right? So minimal. She inspired me to make tabs. Look, I made tabs. Isn't that fun? So I just took the little tabbies that you get, you know, I don't know where they are. Where are they? I took these tabs that you can find. They're, they're kind of harder. You can kind of hear that. And then I put washi on just regular paper. Well, let's just make one real quick. I can just show you. Cause I wanted to redo these anyway, because I um, wanted to do them front and back the next time. They're so easy to make and I love them so much. All you'll need is just some paper, some glue. Some of my favorite glue is this art glitter glue. You'll need some tabs, scissors. I have a label maker because I've always had a label maker because I love labeling things. Some packing tape and your favorite washi. I happen to have my, what do you call it? The, the one that's retired. What is this called? Imbibe. <laughs> know my own washi name my own washi name so I'm gonna put this here all right I guess with the red does it show through bad I guess it's not that bad so let me go closer to I'm just going to put it over where I want to cut Almost like Gatsby's eye. That's what it reminds me of. And then put this to the side and then take my scissors and cut. We'll leave that like that. Then I'll do the other side. I have two little tabbies. There might be an easier way to do this. I don't even know. This is the way I did it. I took my glue and glued. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be all perfect with it because you're gonna cover it with tape in a second. And I didn't do double-sided last time. Whoa, that's a lot of glue. That's okay. That can poop out glue sometimes. Here. I'm not gonna worry about this side being shorter than the other side, cause for the most part, I mean, it's gonna be sticking in there anyway. Then I'm gonna label it something. What do I wanna label it? What do I, which one do I wanna replace? Let's do the month. And this is the clear tape that I want. Cut this. Did I spell month right? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's like when you feel like you haven't spelled something right. Then what I'm gonna do is take my packing tape, take a piece of it off, and then I'm gonna put it right with the, the real clean edge. You can kind of see it there. So that clean edge, not the edges that are torn, but the sides. And I'm gonna put it, put it there and then fold it to meet. And then really push it down to get all the bubbles out. So it's almost like a lamination. See? And then you can cut around it. And there it is. So you can have a little tab sticking out. 
and this one is double-sided. Now, if I was really thinking about it, I would have put month on that side too, but I wasn't thinking. I was thinking about staying in frame while doing all this stuff. That was extra and fun. I had fun making that. So I have that. The other thing that I made, oh my gosh, I had to go find it. The other thing I made was a dashboard. Um, just simply measured out a piece of paper. This is a piece of paper. I think I first saw this pattern paper on Robin's journal stuff. I really like it. I have a little bit left right here. It's like my little prized possession. And I have something else to show y'all, which I'm really excited about because I'm, I'm using this for something fun. This is my dashboard. You know, I just take it and, you know, so that my pen doesn't go through. Here's a hint. Has to do with these. <laughs> has to do with this. Um, yes, I am going to Frankenstein a homeschool planner together. Uh, I will share it later. My cover has not come in yet. I have a plastic cover coming for it. I would like to get that first, but I will make a kind of one of those, like where you put it in, it's like the bookmark for the page with the rest of this paper and a label that's like this week or something like that. I'm a lot more involved with the homeschool for the boys this year. And so I needed to get back into something that would draw me back to planning their curriculum because it's not digital anymore. I have one class, I'm sorry, I only have one class. Well, kind of one and a half. That's digital, we're not using uh, online anymore. They're actually in books again. Very excited to play and create this. Think Rolodex, okay? Rolodex meets Happy Planner. Think that. Layers, pictures, uh, journaling, memory, all that stuff. This is my, I was inspired by Samantha over at her Instagram is Mooncata, I think it is. And I was inspired by her and I was like, oh my gosh, I could basically like do this and a happy planner and let it be my planner for the school, but also put in memories from the year and things that I want to keep. Like if we go to the planetarium, if it ever opens or if we can go, you know, the ticket from that, I could just punch it with my punch and stick it in. But I'm not going to give that away now. I'll give my mama's calling me. So I have to go. I love you all so much. Uh, thanks for joining me on this video and I'll see you later. Bye.